Welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy. I'm here with the wonderful Christina Bianco, uh, who's doing her solo show this year, Party of One. Yes. So, Christina, give us a little kind of brief summary about what we can expect from your show this year. Sure. Well, uh, last year at the Fringe, uh, I was in a show called Devolution, where I did some impressions and sang in my own voice. And everybody always asks me, how did you start doing these impressions? And so this show is one big 60-minute answer to that question. Uh, when I was little, I would sort of take on the voices of the people I was listening to or mimic family and friends. And uh, yeah, I, I was definitely a hard child to live with, but it all sort of led to where I am today. And so the show is a big celebration of all the things that sort of make me uh, uh, a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so obviously last year we were working with a drag queen, is that, am I correct yeah. in thinking? Velma, was it Velma, Velma Cherry? Shelley, yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, how is it being kind of up there by yourself? Well, actually, uh, at, at the risk of sounding a little bit like a diva, mm -hmm. it, I, it's it's really what I know best. I mean, one of my first uh, duo experiences was working with Velma. Mm -hmm. I just really wanted to come to the Fringe and have a good time and sort yeah. of get my feet wet with somebody else sort of as a team. Um, but I've been doing my own solo shows for a very long time, mm -hmm. and I've done this show uh, in London a few times. We've had 11 performances at the Hippodrome, a really great run there. So uh, I've been really lucky to sort of have have the show under my belt a little yeah. bit, so it's really great to come in and, and doing a limited run here. It's sort of fast and furious, mm -hmm. and I'm just having such a good time, yeah. and I hope everybody can come see. Yeah, that's it, because you're on until the 16th, aren't you? So yeah. it's really a case of get those tickets now. Yeah, yeah, I know how the fringe is, yeah. and you have a list of shows you want to see. I think I'll see that one. I think I'll see... Mm. You're going to have to come see me fast. Exactly. It's so, get party of one to the top yes. of your list. And it's a party, so it's a really good time, so it's... Definitely worth the rush. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Now, obviously, you are based stateside, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of your impressions are Broadway people or, you know, popular artists from America. Absolutely. Um, yeah. How are you finding the kind of translation over here? <laughs> I think I'm finding it a little too much fun. Um, <laughs> it's no secret that I'm a, an Anglophile, and I love so many British things and a lot of British comedians and actors and, and writers. And so it's really fun for me to sort of bring out my inner nerd mm -hmm. and uh, let some of these fabulous impressions into the show. Uh, fabulous people. I'm not saying my own impressions are oh, fabulous. That would be so tacky. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying it's, it's really fun for me to do it. For example, um, Bubble mm -hmm. from Absolutely Fabulous. That's sort of a niche thing, but everybody in the audience knows. Everybody. And I do her now, but she's a little bit loud. I don't want to disturb everybody else in the bar. Um, but I think, um, for example, I've done for the past couple of years the actress Catherine Parkinson. Mm -hmm. Now, she doesn't work in the U.S., even if people have watched the IT crowd, yeah. they're not particularly familiar with who she is. But now, with Humans, the TV show becoming so popular, uh -huh. I'm going to see that bridge form a little bit. And so <laughs> it'll be really lovely when I can do Catherine Parkinson for everybody here and then go home and share my impression of her with the U.S. It's really, really wonderful. It's going to be brilliant. I love it. Lovely. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. There's something I've always wondered and always wanted to ask kind of a, a female impressionist singer like yourself. And obviously you sing as you. Yeah. You know? Um, how easy is it to distinguish your own voice? Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's a good question. Um, you know, I try to find a really good balance. Because I'm an actor and a singer in my own right, mm. um, I definitely try to put a little bit of that into my show. Not just to feed my own ego, but I do find that if the audience knows what my own voice sounds mm. like, then they can appreciate the impression that I'm doing that much more, yeah. hear the difference in my voice, and yeah. try to figure out what I'm doing. And I think it's more interesting to an audience in that way. So for me, it's, it's a balance. When you come see this show, I'd say it's, I try to make most shows 50-50 mm -hmm. in my own voice and impressions. This one leans a little heavier on the impressions because that's what the show is about. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think, I think it's lovely that the audience seems to respond so well to both. I never feel like, you know, oh, I, I've done too many impressions, or tired of these, or yeah. I've sung too much in my own voice, they want to hear an impression yeah. now. And that's really a, a testament to, I think, having done the show a little bit and getting the right feel, and also I like an interactive show, so I really, I sort of want to see the audience's reaction and the audience's um, response to what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and I'll play off of that a little bit. Yeah. So every show is a little bit different, and that's how I think I'm able to to keep myself yeah. through all of the yeah. <laughs> through all the other exactly. wacky voices and parts of me. <laughs> yeah. And you were saying you're supported by a, a full live band as well. So like yeah, I have a fabulous uh, fabulous band uh, that I work with, and uh, they play with me at the Hippodrome. So they they really do know this show. Yeah. Bless them. Bless them. <laughs> they've heard uh, it a lot. Yeah, they've heard yeah. it a lot, <laughs> and I do about sixty five 
impressions in the show, and so they <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sometimes I think, oh gosh, I, I think they're going to start doing them soon. But mm-hmm. it's it's really been, it's really just been a, a, a lovely, like I say, a lovely celebration. Mm-hmm. That's what the show is. Yeah. I mean, it sounds kind of cheesy, but I really want it to feel like a big party, and I get to because of the audience and because of these lovely guys that I'm friends with and the band behind yeah. me, I get to celebrate everything that I've done and Amazing. all of these different voices that I have so it's yeah. great excellent and the voting has been really nice and responsive so far yeah you, you know I, was, I, I won't I won't lie I think a lot of performers sort of say yeah you know I think I'd rather have a smaller venue uh-huh. and sell that out than have a big one it makes you nervous yeah uh, but I have been so I should knock on something I've uh-huh. been so blessed we've had great sellout shows at the Spiegel tent Amazing. so it's it's been really exciting and not to just throw impressions at you mm-hmm. but it's been also great because every night you know, the audience is such a, a wide group of people, so it's so diverse, mm. different ages, and people are from different countries, and you never know sort of what's going to hit and miss every night. And last night, when I was doing, I was doing Keira Knightley, mm-hmm. she's very soft and she's very quiet, and you heard somebody in the audience say, shh, it's like, but they wanted to hear it, they're very <laughs> excited, and somebody else <laughs> applauded and was so excited. <laughs> and then I did, I did Kristen Chenoweth, who's a Broadway performer, and she sounds like she's on helium. And sometimes I worry that's not going to go over well. And the audience just exploded with Amazing. laughter last night at Kristen Chenoweth. So, so they're, they're big audiences, and I think because also, uh, because there are so many of them, you really, they, you really get to see some people who are big Broadway fans, yeah. some really know TV, yeah. but it all together, it all works beautifully. Amazing. So I've been really blessed. Hope to keep it up. So yeah, yeah please come. Yeah, <laughs> please do keep it up. Amazing. Now, another question that I was always wondering um, is, are there any um, ladies out there in the world that you are like trying to impersonate, but it just you're not, you can't quite get it. There or are a bunch. Yeah, there are mountains bunch. to climb. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have my natural limitations. I have a mm-hmm. pretty clear voice, so mm-hmm. the raspy performers like Tina Turner. Yeah. Um, it, you know, Bonnie Tyler. I, I had a lovely viral YouTube video. Well, that was it. Totally clear. Singing "Toilet yeah. Clips of the Heart," and then I sang the number on the Paula Grady show in front of Bonnie Tyler, and Bonnie wow. Tyler herself <laughs> said to me, "Why don't you do me?" And I was like. <laughs> I couldn't possibly, which is a compliment to her because her voice is so distinct. Yeah. There's just, it is really nothing I can do to, yeah. to make my voice sound, have that grit, have that sort of husky rasp yeah. to it. Um, but there are others I'm working on. A lot of the Broadway uh, mm. fans out there want me to do uh, Betty Buckley okay. or Ruthie Henshaw, so I've got to get those the in. The Ruthie would be a good one. Yeah, yeah, I think I could do Ruthie. Yeah. Someone told me to do Anna Jane Casey, but I've worked with her, so that okay. could be a bit mm. weird. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I'm going to pause on that one. I mean, have you met many people that, you know, you impersonate? No, and, and it's frustrating because everybody asks me this question, and I keep yeah. thinking, oh, next month I'll have a different answer, but yeah. no. I happen. mean, I really do believe imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, okay. and I hope that the people that I impersonate know that I'm doing it with respect mm. and love. I mean, uh, if I don't enjoy the artist personally, I don't really want to impersonate them, even yeah. if they're really famous. There has to be something in them that that I connect with or that mm. I really enjoy and want to sort of lovingly exaggerate or pull from them. Um, but I will say, uh, I mentioned it before, the Broadway and uh, TV actress Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah. She, uh, and I have a lot of mutual friends in the New York Broadway community, mm. although I've never worked with her personally, and uh, a fan tweeted, Kristen Chenoweth, did you see Christina Bianco, ex Dina Bianco ones, you know, <laughs> video of you? It's great, it's great. And, you know, when you see that, you sort of go, oh, that's sweet. They're yeah. trying to get her attention. But Kristen tweeted back, brilliant or fabulous. I forgot which word it was, but it was a good word. That's the dream. And I'm taking that word all the way to the bank yeah, with me. Exactly. I'm thrilled. Kristen Chenoweth, fabulous. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. That's no. good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot, okay. uh, but, but would you be willing to do some of your vocal styling for us? Sure. Um, uh, gosh, what should I do? Um, what should I sing for you? I don't know. What about what about something that I'm? Because I was saying that I'm a bit of a massive Broadway geek, but maybe okay. a, a Broadway bit accessible. Okay, you know? so the sun will come out tomorrow. I mean, who doesn't know that Broadway song? So the sun will come out tomorrow, as sung by a few celebrities. How about we start with Barbara Streisand, a classic. <laughs> The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Uh, how about Judy Garland? Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. Bernadette Peters. Of course. Well, I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely. 
Kristen Chenoweth. with, I just take out my chin and grin and say, <laughs> who next? Liza. The shit will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Show you've got to hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, Celine Dion. Of course. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. You're only a day away. And I was not answer. warmed up for that. Yeah, so I that was that just was for you, Waffle amazing. TV. Amazing. We are <laughs> so grateful. Thank you so, so much, Christina. Now, can you just tell us one final time where and when can we find you? <laughs> sure. My show is at the George Square Garden Spiegel Tent, 720, now until August 16th. Get your tickets while you can. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. This has been another episode of Waffle TV. Thank you very much. Sponsored by Boomers. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well that was